Hey everybody, I have to do this all over again. Not sure what happened, but I'm gonna do it all over again for you guys because I love you so much. And hopefully this one is gonna work through the entire way. And we are gonna get started right now. Cool, so today's Wise Day, as always, thank you for visiting. This is Makaija Kesey, working with Kamisha Kesey Realty. I am a local realtor in Riverside County. Um, I've been a realtor for the last two, three weeks, been doing a lot of good things, and this has been one of those good things that I do. Um, today is gonna be um, basically based off two different subjects. It's gonna be extremely quick, and hopefully I remember everything that I said in the last one that didn't get the chance to post. So, we're going to start with letter A very quickly, cryptocurrency. Now, I know a lot of people are not too in tune with what cryptocurrency is, and so I want to just make this really, really short for you and very understandable, but my first tip on cryptocurrency is to get knowledgeable. Know what you're getting into, and also, even if you haven't decided to, if you're on the fence of, hey, should I buy something, should I not, oh, Bitcoin's rising, but is it a, is it a fluke? Um, all those questions can be answered fairly easily if you just do your research and do your homework. And I'm going to be honest with you, I do have investments in cryptocurrencies, a, a few of them, not just the Bitcoin, but Bitcoin is one of them. And if you guys want to figure out all the other ones, go ahead and do some research, man. Just type in legitimate cryptocurrencies. You guys will find out a lot of cool stuff and you'll see that banks are now using cryptocurrency. Also, the first house was actually purchased with 30 different, 30 Bitcoin. And I think it capped out to be like $1.3 million purchase um, in US dollars when it was converted. But a, a seller of a home accepted Bitcoin as a um, actual legitimate currency for his house to be purchased and sold. So just to let you, that, that's just to let you guys know that it is legitimate, <laughs> at least in that form. Um, yeah, and if you guys have Bitcoin and you want to offer a Bitcoin to a seller, go ahead and do it. Try it out. See what they say. See if they're interested in even figuring out what the process is and how that's all going to work. Um, so that's my first tip is to get knowledgeable and know what you're getting into. My second one, this is actually given to me by um, my cousin Devon. Devon Peoples, you can find him on Facebook, on Instagram, uh, Snapchat, Twitter, Devon Peoples. He is a um, songwriter and he's also a publisher. He's a linguist. Dude got it going on. And um, he actually told me this in his exact words was to look at Bitcoin as a garden. So let's say you have a garden. Let's say you have a hundred different seeds that you've planted. These seeds have grown into the plants. Let's say you have a garden full of tomatoes. So how many tomatoes we got? A hundred. One hundred tomatoes, but we have a hundred people also lined up at the door. First in line comes in, they buy, they pick out one of those tomatoes, buy it for one dollar. Now, since we only have 100, supply has decreased by 1% because that person bought one of them for a dollar. So now the next price for that next person in line may be $1.25 now because we've lessened our supply and demand is still high. So that's basically, it's really as simple as that, guys. It's, a base, it's based on a certain amount that there is allocated to the certain cryptocurrency. Every time someone mines it, quote unquote, mine, M-I-N-E, and anytime someone mines the currency or anytime someone purchases the currency, the dollar value of it rises simply because the supply is being lessened and lessened and lessened until it reaches a certain cap, which is $21 million for Bitcoin. Right now, it's sitting around in the $17,000 range. So think about that. If Bitcoin is barely in the $17,000 range now to get to $21 million, just just. Think about that, guys. Think about the immense possibility on making money using Bitcoin. Excuse me, I'm going to drink some water really quick. But, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, look at it as a garden, you guys. And like I said, be knowledgeable. Do your own research on that, okay? So now we're going to move on to letter B, which is coincidences. And do they exist? Um, I feel in my own personal perception, no, coincidences do not exist whatsoever. I believe coincidences are a figment of the imagination in, entirely. I feel as though we are all connected to each other and to every living thing. 
at a phenomenal rate, 100% of the time, 24-7. I do not believe that if I see someone um, that I haven't seen in five years, if we see each other in the store, I don't believe that's just a coincidence. I believe that there's a purpose and there's a meaning behind that. And so I feel like the word coincidence, um, it takes away from you. You know, it, it kind of helps you to lose your power. And that's not necessarily a good thing. You want to be in control, right? So that's how I feel about coincidences. I do not feel like they exist. I feel like it's just a figment of the imagination, like I said. Um, and, you know, we have the power to take that coincidence or take that instance or that meeting um, to the next level in terms of opportunity. I focus on a lot of opportunities versus downfalls. And so another thing that has to do with that is, you know, we're here on this planet every single day. And the main motive is to what? Human beings are here to survive, right? And um, that's really just the basis of our nature. And so there are those who simply sit on that and that's all they want to do and that's how they feel comfortable. But also remember, comfortability is what, <laughs> it's what helps to stop your stamina on moving up and up and up. I don't ever want to be comfortable where I am. I always want to be uncomfortable because when you're, when you're uncomfortable, it makes you do things. It makes you be active. It makes you be more prominent and more heard and more present in your life. Because when we're comfortable, we kind of go on autopilot, right? We're kind of like, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm used to this. I'm used to this, you know, and, and I feel like that's, that's, a, that's a crutch. I feel like it's something that holds a lot of people back. Um, but not to get too sidetracked, yes, those are the two things that I wanted to bring you guys on this beautiful Wednesday. As you see, it's getting a little dark outside. But I appreciate you guys being here. This has been Makaiji Kesey. Unfortunately, I have to go right now. But please follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. I'm on all platforms, YouTube as well. I'm getting my YouTube channel up and running. Just need a, four, a few more tools to make sure my videos are pristine and clear and that you guys are enjoying them. Okay, so thank you. This has been Makaiji Kesey with Kamisha Kesey Realty. And let's go put in some work, guys. Wise day. Thank you, thank you, thank you.